It's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm doing a Skull Servant deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun deck to play and to summon out boss monsters like King of the Skull Servant that can go well over 10,000 attack points to OTK your opponent. And it's all based around an old school vanilla monster, Skull Servant, which is one of the first vanilla monsters we ever got in Yu-Gi-Oh! So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell and there's some come part notification squad and definitely check the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Again, your name is Christian, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of the original Skull Servant. This card is a definite three up in the build and just an awesome combo piece to be able to play in the deck to be able to get it into your graveyard so you can make your King of the Skull Servant absolutely massive. We can play three copies of King of the Skull Servants. This card is our main boss monster we're trying to summon out as quickly as possible. Because the original attack of this card is the combined number of King of the Skull Servant and Skull Servants in your graveyard times a thousand. And when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can actually banish one of their King of the Skull Servant or a Skull Servant from your graveyard to special summon this card back out to your side of the field. But usually you're just summoning this card out to your side of the field and it's absolutely massive and you're swinging in for game. We then play three copies of a really new card that we just got, three copies of White Lord. This card is really cool as a three of in the build because it helps you mill cards to the graveyard. Because this card has the ability, this card's name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. And you can only use the following effects of this card once per turn. That if you have a copy of Skull Servant or a King of the Skull Servant in your graveyard, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Skull Servant and King of the Skull Servants in your graveyard. Which is an amazing ability to mill multiple cards to the graveyard because we have a lot of cards in this deck that actually count as Skull Servant when they're in the graveyard. So this card can mill a bunch of cards from your deck to the grave so that you can make your copy of King of the Skull Servant massive. This card also has the ability that you can banish this card from the graveyard and then target a Skull Servant or a King of the Skull Servant in the graveyard and special summon it, which is a really cool effect to be able to just bring back an additional copy of King of the Skull Servant to your side of the field to be able to swing in for game. We then play three copies of the Lady in White. This card is definitely a three of in the build because this card also counts as Skull Servant while in the graveyard and face up level three or lower zombie monsters that you control except a copy of Lady in White cannot be destroyed by battle and are unaffected by the effects of spells and trap cards, which is such a cool ability for this card to have. We then play three copies of White Prince. This card is such a powerful card for the deck because it helps you just stack your graveyard. It has the ability, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send a Skull Servant and a Lady in White from your hand and or deck to the graveyard, which is a really cool effect to basically get you three names into the graveyard because you're going to get this card, Lady in White, and a King of the Skull Servant, or regular Skull Servant in the graveyard. And then you can use its other ability to be able to actually summon out King of the Skull Servant because you can actually banish two Skull Servants and this card from your graveyard to special summon a King of the Skull Servant from your deck. And this card's name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard, which is a really cool effect, but I love that about this card. And when this card does touch the graveyard, you just get to send Lady in White and Skull Servant to the grave, basically getting you three Skull Servants in the graveyard, which is really cool. We then play three copies of White Baking. White Baking is also an amazing card in the deck. And this card's name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. And if a level three or lower zombie monster that you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can discard this card from your hand instead. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can actually add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except White Baking, that are either Skull Servant or specifically Skull Servant in their text, then discard a card, which is really cool to be able to add your copy of White Prince from your deck to your hand along with a copy of, say, King of the Skull Servant to your hand, and then send this card to the graveyard because you have to discard a card, and then send an additional copy of Skull Servant and Lady in White to the graveyard, getting you four names in the graveyard because you'll have White Baking in the graveyard as well, which is super cool. We then play two copies of White Princess. White Princess is really good as a two-up in the build because this card has a great ability. This card's name becomes Skull Servant while it's in the graveyard. And this card is normal or special summon. You can actually send a White Prince from your deck to the graveyard, 
which is great to be able to get one of the white princes into the graveyard so you can start stacking the graveyard with different skull servant monsters to make king absolutely massive. This card is also a hand trap because during either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and all monsters currently on the field lose attack and defense equal to their own level times 300 until the end of the turn, which is a really cool effect because all of our skull servant monsters besides princess and our copy of Lady Wright are actually level one, so they're only gonna lose like 300 attack points, which is not that big of a deal. We have a single copy of White Mare. White Mare is just a good one of card in the deck, and I really like this card in the build because while this card's in the graveyard, it also becomes Skull Servant, and it has yield. You can discard this card to activate one of its effects to either pick one of your banished Skull Servants or White Mares and return it back to the graveyard, or you get to pick one of your banished Lady in White or King of the Skull Servant and special summon it back to your side of the field, which is great to get your monsters back on the field. We then play a single copy of Aluber because we are playing a small branded package in the deck because it works really well as basically Foolish Burial for the deck. So this card helps you get to branded fusion. We then play two copies of Fallen of All Bads for the branded package in the deck, which just helps out a lot again because you can use a branded fusion to be able to send basically a copy of White Prince plus Fallen of All Bads to the graveyard to be able to get your copy of your white prince into the graveyard so you can use its effect to mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard which is just really nice to be able to get a copy of skull servant and lady in white to the graveyard plus this card just off of using branded fusion plus you get a copy of lubellion then you go to mirror jade which is really really nice you also get to discard a card which can be a copy of one of your skull servants just basically getting a bunch of cards into the graveyard off of one spell card so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is really good as a one-of in the deck to get the exact card you need to the graveyard, like a copy of White Prince. We then play two copies of Burial from a different dimension. This card is helpful in the deck to be able to bring back your Skull Servants that are banished back to your graveyard. You can actually pick three monsters that are banished and return them back to the graveyard, which is really good with cards like White Prince. It'll actually banish itself, plus two Skull Servants to summon King of the Skull Servant from the deck. So you can basically just use this card to put all three of those monsters back that you just banished for white prince's effect to basically get your copy of king of the skull servant 3000 bonus attack points we then play two copies of branded opening branded opening is really good so we can summon out our copy of a luber by just discarding a card you take a luber from the deck and special summon it to your side of the field which is a really cool effect to instantly get it on your side of the field so you can search out your copy of branded fusion speaking of branded fusion we also play three copies of branded fusion this card is basically like additional copies of foolish burial which is why i like playing this card in the deck because you get to fusion summon using monsters from the deck so you can use a copy of fallen of all bass plus either a light or a dark monster to summon e either your copy of your albion or your copy of lubellion depending on what you want to summon usually i go for lubellion to be able to send a dark monster like a copy of white prince from your deck to the grave which is super helpful to instantly get that card to the graveyard so you can start putting a copy of the lady in white and a copy of skull servant to the grave we then play three copies of Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is really good as a three of in the deck to basically just use this card to be able to draw two cards and then banish a dark monster in the hand. We have plenty of them in the deck, so this card is really good to be able to use just as a draw package in the build. We then play three copies of Forbidden Droplets. Droplets is really powerful in this format and is really awesome as well in this deck to basically half your opponent's monster's attack points and shut down their field all at once while getting Skull Servants into the graveyard to make King absolutely massive so we can swing in for game this card has always been good in skull servant it's just really powerful overall in this deck and then finally play three copies of super polymerization we summon out one really big monster so we want to be able to break our opponent's board so this card is really good to be able to break the opponent's board by fusing their monsters away into a boss monster that we get to keep and then summon out a king of the skull servant that's absolutely massive and swing in for game so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, we're going to start with a single copy of Relinquished Anima. Relinquished Anima is really good, depending on the zone that your opponent's monster points to. This card is really good to be able to use to basically just gobble up an opponent's monster that this card does point to, depending on the zone that your opponent places them in. We then play a single copy of Axis Code. Axis Code is just a really good boss monster. Summon out to your side of the field. You can pop multiple cards on the field and it comes out absolutely massive. One copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. One copy of Nightmare Phoenix to pop spells and traps 
one copy of SP Little Knight because this card is a double interruption. You don't have to play this card in the deck if you don't have one. You can play Nightmare Cerberus as a budget option for you guys. So this card is cuttable in the deck, but it's a really good card if you do have one. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is in the deck so that you can make your copy of SP or your copy of Nightmare Unicorn during the opponent's turn. We then play a single copy of Link Spider because we do play normal monsters in the deck in the form of Skull Servant. So if you do open up two copies of Skull Servant, you can normal one out and then link it away to make this card which is a really good option and then make a copy of relinquished anima and then link both of those cards away to summon out a copy of sp little knight which is really cool to be able to do we then play two copies of mirror jade mirror jade is really good as a boss monster in the deck that you can summon out really easily with branded fusion plus it just gets rid of cards off the field and then play a single copy of Lubellion. Lubellion's also really good in the deck because this card does require a dark monster plus Fallen of All Baz. And what I usually use with it for this card summon is a copy of White Prince and a copy of Fallen of All Baz. So the White Prince will go off and some Lady in White and your copy of Skull Servant from the deck to the grave, getting you essentially three names off of a branded fusion, which is really good. Then you have to discard a card as well, which is going to get you another Skull Servant in the graveyard, which is really cool. We then play two copies of Albion, one to summon and one to send off of Mirror Jade, so we can get another copy of branded fusion. So this card is just really good as a basically walking miracle fusion. Plus, if you send it to the graveyard, the turn it was sent to the graveyard during the end phase, you can set a branded spiller trap directly from your deck to your side of the field, essentially getting you an additional branded fusion. We then play a single copy of Dracos to Palia for our super poly targets, a single copy of Garua, and one copy of Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon is really good in the deck. These are the best super poly targets in the game currently, and just really good to be able to break your opponent's board. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Skull Servant before, you should definitely give this deck a try, especially with the small branded package we're playing in the build, because you basically just use branded fusion like a foolish burial, which is really cool to be able to do, and I absolutely love that. Plus, Skull Servant is really cool to be able to play, because it's one of the oldest cards in the entire game, coming out in Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.